everybody and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm filming my August favourites and I have quite a few makeup favourites this month actually because I've tried a few new products. So I'm excited to just share with you everything. Everything that I mentioned in this video will be linked on my piggyback page which I will leave in the description for you to go and check out if you want to buy anything that I mentioned in this video. So let's get into the video. So the first category that I'm going to talk about is makeup and I have a fair few things today. I'm by the meaning of that, I have five, which is quite a lot considering I don't usually, you know, switch things up. But this month I've tried a few new things. And the first one is the Collection Sheer Loose Powder. Now, I have always used pressed powders. I've always used pressed powders, but now I switched up and I thought that I would try out the loose powder. Now, if you actually look inside, you can see the powder is in the top. It's really difficult to show you. Um, but what I do is I have to gently dab my brush very slightly onto it because it picks up so much product um, and then kind of dab it off and then put it onto my face. This lasts so long it cost me three pounds and it is so worth the money in comparison to a pressed powder because pressed powders always break and i don't have the worry of this breaking because it's already broken the next one is this which is actually another product from collection and this is their like collection primed and ready correct and conceal like a little palette thing and i was looking for another collection lasting perfection concealer because I thought I was gonna run out, didn't, but I thought I was going to on my holiday. So I was looking for another one and they're about four pounds something, like nearly five pounds. And this whole little kit here was five pounds. So I thought, oh, I might give this a go. So it's basically got in it um, a green color corrector, a blue color corrector in the middle, which on the camera, it does not look blue. Um, <laughs> and it's also got like a powder um, on the side and basically I use this every single day when I have time. The blue one is used to correct spots that I use it for anyway. Um, I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. The green one I use to correct redness, so like around my nose and stuff. And then the powder, what I do with that is I use it um, to powder over the top of where I've concealed as well as my other powder. And it also comes with another collection, collection Lasting Perfection concealer, um, which I haven't started yet because I have still got my other one. The next product is the Benefit High Beam um, Highlighter, which I've had for a while. And basically when you put this onto your face on top of foundation, it, you put it on, but it doesn't blend out like very well at all. And you can see like a strong line of highlight. Whereas with my MUA powder, you can easily blend it in. So I was like, oh, I don't know what to do with this. So I kind of started putting it underneath my foundation just slightly, but I was like, oh, I can't be bothered to do that. And quite recently I've actually started putting a couple of drops of this into my moisturizer in the morning, mixing it together. And then when I put moisturizer on my face, it kind of gives a really nice overall glow over your face. And it just looks really nice. Like it gives that kind of natural glow. It's nothing like, it doesn't look like a highlighter on your face. It just looks really subtle. Um, obviously dependent on how much you put in. Um, I would recommend this, um, putting it in your moisturizer or just putting any liquid highlighter in your moisturizer if you have dry skin or if you just want to look a little bit more glowy sort of overall um, and even though I have oily skin I still do this because just because you have oily skin doesn't mean that you don't want to look a little bit glowy um, but yeah it works it works well and my final makeup product is the natural collection um, oh what they're called the natural collection sun tint bronzing pearls and it's in the shade tropical tan and these are brilliant now i know a lot of people probably wouldn't like these because they're very very subtle and my mum actually bought them for herself and then she found that they didn't really do anything but actually when i tried them i think what I did is you have to really get your brush in there and then you have to sort of swipe it onto your face like as if it's bronzer but then kind of layer it up a little bit and I have genuinely been using this every single day for the past sort of week apart from today and yesterday um so like a week before yesterday and I used it every single day instead of contour instead of bronzer I just used this and this is definitely a high recommendation for like school makeup because it looks really subtle and kind of natural as much as you can be natural wearing makeup um 
whilst not being like too much and it's perfect it really is and i am going to be doing a back to school makeup routine and i will sort of show you and talk about this a little bit more in that because i will definitely be using this but yeah it's very good so if you've not used bronzer before or something like that then give that a try and it adds a little bit of glow whilst also adding bronze but it's very very subtle Okay, so I didn't actually have any skincare favourites this month. Everything is just exactly the same, so there's no skincare. My food favourites, however, I do have two. The first one is this Kit Kat here. This looks amazing. Like, have you seen this? This is a white chocolate chunky Kit Kat. I love chunky Kit Kats anyway because they've got a lot of chocolate on them, which obviously tastes really good. Um, but this particular one is obviously white chocolate, and I love white chocolate. And I bought these the other day. I bought a pack of four, and... I've had two already, um, not in one day, but I've had two already and I can't wait to have this one. It's just so nice. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. So I thought I'd mention that. The other one is a definite firm favourite for this month. I bought these from Tesco's. You actually, these ones are apple and strawberry cereal bars, but you can also get chocolate and caramel and they're so good. Like they're probably the best cereal bars I've ever tried ever and that's saying something considering they're really low in fat saturate sugars salt and calories these are only 65 calories and in comparison to other cereal bars that's like pretty low and i'm i'm not a calorie counter i don't count my calories but i think when you want when you're having snacks and things you don't want them to be really high calorie because it's just sort of like a snack um, and also i think the main thing is that it's incredibly low in sugar that's why I'm really happy to eat this as a snack and I don't feel guilty at all. It's less calories and less, way less sugar than a bourbon biscuit or a custard cream or something like that. And it tastes so good. So I've actually re-bought four of these packs since I originally bought them because they're that good. So I would recommend them and it's 85p for five. So if you wanna take them in your lunchbox or you pack up or whatever for school, I'd recommend doing it because it's very good. The next one, I sort of thought about homeware and I was like, oh, what homeware pieces? You know, I don't own my own home, I don't know. But then I actually thought, my life planner. Now this has actually been in a favourites video months and months and months ago when my friend Steph got me it for my birthday or Christmas. I'm not entirely sure which one, I think it was Christmas. And it's literally the perfect planner for your day. I am such a day planner. If my day is not planned, I kind of feel like, you know, what the hell am I doing? I'll stand there just staring like, what am I doing? And I love to plan it. I think it's something that um, when I'm at school, I will do every single night before I go to bed ready for the next day. But when I have more time, for example, weekends or when I'm off school, I'll sit there in the morning with my breakfast writing out my day. So I'll just sort of show you a typical day. I won't kind of go through it. Um, Hang on, where are we? I'll show you today. So this is today, and some of you might think that's a hell of a lot of planning, but basically, down the side here, this section here, you can't really see. I plan what I want to do in my day. For example, get ready at 9.15, film a video at 10, um, biology revision at 10.45, um, just all that kind of thing, all the way up until 1.30. So this chunk here is all the way up until 1.30. Um, I then plan at the top here in this little box here, I plan what makeup, oh no, I plan what makeup I want to wear, what hair I'm going to be doing that day and my outfit just so that when I come upstairs I know exactly what I'm doing. I also plan sort of at the bottom here um, a little section for what I need to do for YouTube, so do I need to film, do I need to edit, do I need to do the description or anything like that. The next box is work, so biology, chemistry, revision, um, anything like that. And then fitness is the last box and I just write sort of what day it is. Every day I will do something different. Um, for example, today is abs day, so I'm doing abs today. I have actually got a very solid workout routine right now and I will be doing a video on it, but probably after Christmas, um, just because that's when everyone tends to do their workout videos. But yeah, I've got a very solid workout routine and it is working well for me. And yes, so this life planner is essential. Fashion favourites, I don't really have any apart from I bought two new pairs of jeans um, but I didn't want to include them because I only just bought them the other day but I'm loving them. Um, but then I did actually buy these shoes sort of the other day and I absolutely love these shoes. They're from Primark. I have mentioned them in a video um, when I first got them but they were £10. They're a really nice pinky colour. They're sort of like 
pale salmony kind of baby pink sort of a colour and they're just very very clean looking and very sort of I don't know I just like them okay I don't need to explain why um I think they kind of don't they don't really go with every outfit because they're so white like in comparison to the rest of my outfit but who cares wear them whatever you want okay tv favorites so bam TV favourites, number one, Coronation Street. I've been loving Coronation Street right now. What I actually do is I follow them on Instagram and Facebook. So whenever something happens um, or whenever, like, basically you get spoilers and kind of things like that. So they sort of tell you the storylines that are going to be coming up. And they even tell you the smallest of storylines, which I love because I absolutely hate tension. I will sit there watching it and it will be the slightest little storyline, but I'll be just thinking, I'm not enjoying this tension. Um, so I like to know what happens just so that I'm like, well, it'll all be all right in the end sort of kind of thing. Um, so I love Coronation Street right now. Me and Aubrey have got into watching this series called Rick and Morty. I think it's a new series, um, but we've been watching it on Netflix, so I don't know if it's on like TV or whatever, but it's literally like my favorite program right now. Um, it's quite a good one. It's almost like Family Guy, but not. It's quite clever in how they um, make the series. Um, I don't know, it's difficult to explain, but yeah it, it's quite clever in the way they do it it's almost it kind of reminds me of back to the future it's sort of all about time travel and um, parallel universes that kind of thing but it's a cartoon so it is really good so yeah if you want to go check that out it's called rick and morty so youtuber favorites the first one is bella Fuari. i don't know how you pronounce the name i'm very very sorry not that she will be watching at all um but she makes loads of different videos, makeup videos, but her main sort of videos that she does, she usually makes once a week, but she hasn't recently, but she has been, um, like a murder mystery video. It's called Mystery Mondays, where she will do a whole video about a murder um, of somebody, but nobody knows like what happened, but there's theories as to what has happened. And in the comments, everyone thinks what they thought had happened or who they thought did it. It's basically that kind of thing. It's like the kind of documentary you'd watch on TV. So yeah, loving her channel event favorite of august this is the final one sorry we've been here a while um and that is going on holiday so if you haven't seen my holiday vlogs for suffolk there is a playlist for you to go and check out if you would like to um i've loved vlogging on holiday it was a really kind of nice thing to get a break from workouts from eating whatever um and it was just nice to have a break from everything including youtube to be fair even though i was uploading every single day i just wasn't um, watching as many videos so so that is everything for this video it seems so long I feel like I've been talking for ages but I did actually have quite a few things this month so give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it remember to subscribe to my channel I will link everything mentioned in this video on my piggyback on my piggyback page which is also linked in the description and I will see you in my next one